In other news, new tonight at 10, a weather roller coaster in western Montana. Dry weather followed by heavy snowfall and now record-breaking warm temperatures. So what does it all mean for local ski resorts with opening day just around the corner? NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll digs in to find out. Ski areas across the state have been gearing up to open over the past few months. But Mother Nature has not made things easy. Some ski areas can mitigate a slow start to the snow season by making their own when the conditions are right. But for the ski areas that rely only on Mother Nature, warmer and drier weather can pose a challenge. Unfortunately, we're making the call that we aren't going to be able to open this weekend. Avery Patrick is the vice president of Showdown Montana, a ski area she owns and operates along with her family near Nyhart. She tells me Showdown relies completely on natural snowfall. We've typically been very blessed um, from the big guy in the sky with great snow. Showdown makes use of all the snow that falls from the sky, hauling it out of the parking lot and using it to fill in bare spots at the base. Though warm winters are a challenge, Patrick says snowmaking would go against their goal of keeping skiing affordable. Adding snowmaking would definitely increase the cost of our lift ticket and cost of operations, so... Usually we can get by without it. Other ski areas simply cannot afford to make artificial snow. To produce your own snow takes significant resources. We're a, a small area and a small community. Bruce Zwang is the manager of Turner Mountain, a nonprofit community-run ski hill north of Libby. He tells me right now they're on track to open around the same time they did last year, relying only on natural snowfall. This is pretty typical, what we're seeing now. We're all aware of the forecasted drier and warmer season, so we're all kind of waiting to see how it goes and uh, hoping for the best, but planning for the worst. So far, Zwang tells me the biggest challenge to building up the snowpack needed to open has been rain. The rains can adversely affect our snowpack, uh, depending on the temperature and how much rain we get, in other words, how much saturation the snowpack receives. There are just over a dozen ski areas in the state. Three are open so far, and a few more are slated to open later this week. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana.